close and happy will go down. MBK with a spray down triple. Quad kill. They all line up. Alu can't make it away. Caught in the heels. The strike comes in for Ray. Oh! <laughs> the jumping catch into the side. He's going to fall down again. Oh! Why is the top from Simple? ESL One at New York. The Barclays Center's rocking. It's starting to pack up. Good morning, New York. Woo. Good vibes, great times, and even more importantly, great energy because today is a very, very special day. I get the opportunity, the chance, and the honor to show you guys something really, really cool. Very impactful in all of our lives. But first and foremost, let's get our introduction straight here. To my left, I do have Volcano, and I do have FM Pone. Round of applause for the father and other father of DE Cat. Now, for, for a little bit of an introduction, where do we start? Let's start with, let's start with you, Sal. Tell the, tell the crowd who you are. Where do you come from? I know the 3D days. You've worked with maps. Talk to me about yourself. Sure, yeah. I started as a pro player in Counter-Strike, dating way back to maybe... Uh, a late 2001, early 2002, and I competed up until about 2015. Ooh. Yeah, and during that time, uh, I originally started doing level design, worked on DE Cash, and that came out uh, first 2010 in uh, CS Source. Damn, so it's been, it's been quite the run. What about yourself, Evan Pone? I know that you are the, the father of CS Museum, so tell me about that. <laughs> yeah, I've been a level designer and environment artist for probably more than half my life. I started doing this when I was like 15, 16 years old, so. Wow. It's been just a huge passion of mine. So, I mean, obviously this passion has kind of made a crossroads between the two of you. Talk to me about teaming up. How was it that this, this tag team duo became to be? Sure, yeah. Uh, Sean reached out to me, actually. Um, it was 2013, and he said uh, we should do a collaboration. I totally agreed. It was something I was also interested in doing because uh, the early version is a cache. Maybe they played well, but they, di they didn't really look great. And, you know... <laughs> Sean's a master at that, and so we teamed up, and I think it really took the map to the next level. So just to kind of put a, a finger where everything is here, layout, structuring, and pretty much the design is your area, and then over here for FM Pone would be the artistic and, and sort of outlook of the entire thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, occasionally I'll give my opinion on level design, but this is Sal's baby, and I've always felt that way. So like when I first reached out to him, I just want to say thank you. I know it's been like, a long time we've been working together. And Hell yeah, there yeah. it is. <laughs> I just want to thank you. No, man. and I, I also thank you because, you know, without you, without us working together, I don't think the map would be where it is. Yeah, the, the map certainly uh, has cemented its place within professional Counter-Strike. I'm pretty sure everyone here can say something, you know, about cash or playing cash with your friends or pugging it or losing on it. But more importantly, let's take a look at a comparison right now in real time. This is the first look at the brand new DE Cash.
I am absolutely flabbergasted, but more importantly, I am excited. Ladies and gentlemen, Cash, back on the cards for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. You guys must be so damn proud. For sure. Talk to me just right away about, uh, I guess, some of the things that drove some of these changes, right? Was it more community-based? Did you guys go back to the drawing board? Talk to me about some of the changes that we're going to see. Yeah, I think it's a mix of, of all of those things. Um, and I know Sean really wanted to do a great job with the retexturing, the, you yeah. know, the renovations of the map. And from what we saw, um, I think it looks great. It's an awesome job, Sean. Um, and then on the gameplay front, we saw a few opportunities. Like We, we did want to keep things very similar because we think it works. Um, but there were a few opportunities to maybe inject some more utility usage from teams and give the CTs a few more options, especially around mid and, and in the A site to play around. Yeah, and there's a, a, a ton of more stuff to look at right now, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to send the FM phone over there to the weatherman station and take a deeper dive into what is the new cash. All right. <laughs> first of all, thanks, everybody. So the first area I'd like to talk about is kind of the mid warehouse. I want to give you guys a rundown of as, as best as I can how we kind of go about creating an area like this. So you're going to see a lot of blending here, here, uh, up here. And this is called displacement blending. We're just blending two different textures together to create a believable kind of organic feel to this space. And you'll see a lot more color as well. You'll see a lot more color in areas like this or here that you ever really did before. So um, these leaves, for example, are individually modeled, which is good for performance if you if uh, you can believe that. And it also kind of makes it fun to inspect the environment really up close. In these tiles, you know, something you'd really expect to see in a Soviet environment. So the next area I'd like to talk about, you may recognize this is the B bomb site. <laughs> yeah, we love it. So you're gonna see some new stuff here. Keep an eye on this in the show match. Uh, yeah, a little uh, something to keep an eye on. Um, so something like this is authentic Soviet design. Very uh, precisely modeled. So you'll see individually modeled leaves again. A lot more color. A lot more color here. Displacement blending again. Kind of getting more interesting shapes in here. You can see the theme of the level coming through. With the weapons cache and the fact that it's still being used as like a target range. You can see that the basic structure of the B-bomb side is pretty much the same. But there are some new stuff thrown in there. So this is one of my favorite areas. This is, yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you, New York. So you'll see more color. That's, that's a big one for me. Um, you'll see this teddy bear. Maybe we can sell these one day. Valve, I don't know, just putting it out there. Uh, that's also an authentic design from Pripyat, which is a town located very, very close to Chernobyl. It's where the workers lived. And you can see the vistas that we're trying to incorporate a lot more of these into the level so you can see out into the world and you just have more of a sense of place and give you something to look at while you're shooting heads. All right, last area here. I know you guys want to see the show match, so I'm going to make it quick. Just a lot of displacement blending going on everywhere. A lot more colors, individually modeled leaves, and let's watch people shoot people on this level, right? <laughs> let's go back to Astana. Yeah, I mean, beauty is, is one way to describe this map so far. All of the green in the world. Uh, I guess just looking at cash, knowing what it's been in the past, what are you expecting from it now? I'd say we're expecting a lot more interesting strategy around mid and just a lot more opportunity for CTs at mid. Yeah, and I just can't wait to see how the community adapts to it, how the pro teams adapt to it. That's what I'm most looking forward to. Yeah, and the, the thing about new maps is, right, we're going to watch a show match here in a second with some of the world's finest talent. Uh, but in reality, once these teams do get those, those times to practice on this map, that's when we're going to see some of the cool innovative stuff. I think that's something that you're both eagerly awaiting to see, wait, what needs to be adjusted? Uh, there will be changes to this map in the future, or is this where we want to stick? I mean, we're always keeping a finger on the pulse, uh, yeah. playing the map ourselves, listening to the pros. Um, and we actually had the opportunity to sit down with some pros here, and we're, we're, we've been taking notes. And so there's a few things that we might tweak as well before the official release date. 
Well, today is the day that we do bring you DE Cash, and we've got to have some commentators. It's going to be very important that I mention that Sal will be joining the commentators over there during the show match. But I need to introduce the commentators. How about a round of applause for Henry G and Machine, who have their own opinions on cash. What do you guys think? Oh, my goodness. Does that look beautiful to watch, Alex? You've got that luscious green environment, something really aesthetically pleasing to look at. Now, cash was a little bit gray and bland before, but now it really has got an exciting feel to it. And I love the fact as well, they're talking about CT mid-advantages now. I felt like that was such a stifling area before for CTs. Yeah. Now we have access points and places to actually use utility and actually position yourself more advantageously. Henry, I've spent so many evenings with you saying a machine solo mid, and I'm sitting there on sandbags. It's not the best outcome. Sweating profusely, no. Molotovs, flashbangs. It's, it's going to be interesting to see how things change. And of course, you know, we got a couple of sneak peeks from FM Pwn's breakdown of the yeah. additional changes they made. I think it's going to be very interesting to see what the players learning during this match. They are going to be finding things halfway through the match, halfway through their CT side, that will completely change the pace. Yeah, we're going to make sure we hype this one up as much for you guys as well. And fun. like they, Trace has said, Sal's going to be joining us. And I think he sold himself a little bit short in his little introduction there. He is yeah. one of the most legendary Counter-Strike players from the North American region. Team 3D, playing a cage shot back in the day. I was a player I used to look up to a lot. He yeah. inspired me to become a professional player. So give him a round of applause, guys. Volcano and FM Pwn did a great job for us. It's been an awesome show match. We'll throw it back to those guys and we'll see you there. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Yes, that's right. A round of applause was in order and much deserved. You guys have done so much, not just for the competitive community, but also the casual gamers for just CSGO. And that is something that I personally want to thank you for. Uh, right now, I think it's just about the time that we take a look and see how this was all made possible.
an amazing display right there. We're about to get so much more in New York. I know you're ready for some cash. I'm ready for some cash. But let me ask you guys, just, just looking at some of the tools you were using, how long did it take you guys to, to come together and really put this thing in the map today? I would say it was about one year, five days a week, starting from about 10 or 11 in the morning till about 3 or 4 in the evening. In the morning, I should say. 3 or 4 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sal, same? Uh, not quite as extreme as Sean. But, <laughs> you know, he, he did the heavy lifting on this. Okay. Um, but yeah, I came into the process a bit later with the, some of the design stuff. So a final question I'm going to have for you guys is this. You brought a lot of elation. You brought a lot of, of happiness right now. Just seeing the feedback from the audience here, what we're going to go read on the forums here and the other. How does that feel to you guys? Well, we're a very small part of this. It's really about the players. And I think, you know, I try to remind myself about that throughout the process. It's about the players. We're doing this for them. We want you guys to have fun and enjoy this. Yeah, yeah we're excited. But ultimately, at the end of the day, we just want the community to enjoy this. Yeah, and I'm damn sure that we will. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for the creators of DE Cash. We do have a special treat, being that a show match is ready to be played, and I do believe Mr. Borg is on the stage. You do believe right. I am excited about this for many reasons. A, it is a great appetizer ahead of what's going to be a great grand final. But secondly, I love a show match. We get a rock star band of all-star players, give them two completely average coaches and find out what happens. And especially on a map like this, brand new to ESO One New York, the fact that we're going to get them playing it, learning live with this new mid-control, it is going to be fascinating to watch. So, my friends here and anybody watching at home, this is going to be a treat. Let's bring out the teams first to enter the stage here in the Barclay Center. Welcome, Team Squeaky! Elige, Kenny S, or Kenny as I like to call him, Tarek Config, and Twist as well. All managed and coached by Chad Virtual. He knows what he's doing on Cache. And they will be taking on Team Toxic. Stewie 2K, Ethan, Nitro, Steel, and Jax, coached by my favorite nothing, Jordan Gilbert. So two teams taking it out on cash is about to happen here at ESO One New York. Once again, let's hear it for your show match teams. Right, I believe I'm going to get a chat with a couple of people. Uh, that would be Elige. Come talk to me. Um, so you've not played this yet, have you, this map? Uh, no, not yet. So what's it going to be like then, learning these new points? Because I think you've seen a couple of videos about it. What's it going to be like learning a new map as you play it? Uh, I think it's going to be pretty fun. Like, it's, it's pretty much the same as Old Cash, but just like a little, uh, couple of new things, like, mixed in there. And I think that we're all going to be taking advantage of that. As Chad said to me before we came out onto this stage, he said North Americans are demons at Cash. Is this true? Yeah, I mean, Cash has been our home map for years. Like, we're just going to be able to take it to him. I'm going to be IGLing, going to be leading everyone to it. And we're going to win it. You're going to smash up Jordan's team? Yeah, of course. He's... Give, me, give me a score prediction. It's going to be... We're probably going to lose pistols because we do have... Well, we have two local players. They have two local players. We're both going to lose pistols. Maybe 16-6. I'll take that. Interesting. And then, if we come over this way... Um, You've, I mean, you've seen the videos as well. What do you think of the new cache? I think it looks pretty good. I think there's a few changes that it's going to make 